Live across WA from the studios of Seven Perth, Yvette Mooney and Rick Arden. Tonight, the shock death of crocodile hunter Steve Irwin, killed by a stingray. WA's AFL Finals dream, a rush for tickets and a promise from Chris Judd. And a tearful Andre Agassi bows out after a brilliant career. You're watching 7 News. Good evening and welcome to 7 News. We begin tonight with the death of Steve Irwin, the man who became known across the world as the Crocodile Hunter. The 44-year-old was killed in a freak accident struck by a stingray while diving on the Great Barrier Reef. The stingray's barb pierced his heart. It was tame compared to what Steve Irwin's used to, a trip to the Barrier Reef to make a documentary about the ocean's deadliest creatures. Today the world has lost a great wildlife icon, a passionate conservationist and one of the proudest dads on the planet. He died but he did, he loved doing best. Steve Irwin was swimming in shallows above a large stingray. It turned quickly, lashed its tail and venomous barbs pierced Irwin's chest. The stingray's barb went up and went into his chest and put a hole into his heart. It's likely that he possibly died instantly when the barb hit him and uh, I don't think, I hope he never felt any pain. Just the third stingray death ever recorded in Australia. And he left this world in a happy and peaceful state of mind. He would have said, Crocs rule. The crocodile hunter oh. was no stranger to playing with dangerous creatures. A stingray, one of his least frightening encounters. Mates thought he was indestructible. He was a, um, a great operator and uh, he was just too young to die. And the way he died was just terrible. It's a terrible shock to me. Steve Irwin turned crikey into a catch cry. Oh, crikey! A national icon in khaki and shorts. I see you, big boy. I really do feel uh, Australia has lost uh, a, a wonderful and colourful son. At Australia Zoo, Steve Irwin's pride and joy, there was disbelief. My girlfriend's very upset and I think Australia's lost a, a bloody good bloke today and it's very sad. America discovered him for us. His hit show, The Crocodile Hunter, turned Irwin into a star there and here. Here comes Stevie, watch him on the TV. Action, you're a wildlife attraction. The trick with catching this alligator is to be wary of those teeth. Huge, great, penetrating teeth. All of the gears kept under here, though. <laughs> and they've got... Can we get back to this end? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It wasn't all a fairy tale. Condemned for introducing his newborn son to crocodiles. Watch him, watch him. Here you go, Bobby. And what? Slammed for swimming with whales. At no stage did I ever try and touch the whale. However, the whales were all over me. It's a big ocean, mate, and I can't swim as fast as a whale. This is the mode of transport, all right? It all made him one of the world's best-known Australians. And despite so many scary animals, his death still a shock. Late word tonight of the death of a well-known television personality. Australian media reports say he was killed by a stingray barb during a diving expedition. Steve Irwin was 44. His American-born wife Terry, daughter Bindi and son Bob were travelling in Tasmania when news came through. A young family with a legacy to live up to. I am a wildlife warrior and I'll fight, fight to the death for wildlife. Reese Whitby, 7 News. Sunrise reporter Monique Wright joins us now from Cairns. Monique, Steve's family are on the way to Queensland. That's right, Yvette. As we just heard in that package there, Terry has broken the news to Bindi and Bob, Steve's two children, about what has happened to their dad. It's believed that they left Tasmania, they were at Cradle Mountain, and they headed to Hobart Airport where they boarded a charter flight. It's believed that they boarded that about three hours ago, and they're headed for either Brisbane or the Sunshine Coast, where it's thought that they'll head to their home in Australia Zoo, which is on the Sunshine Coast. Now, Steve's body is being kept here 
here in Cairns at the base hospital. It's thought that an autopsy will happen here probably tonight, but police are saying that there are no suspicious circumstances, that they're treating it just as a tragic accident. Monique, do we know any more about what happened? Yeah, we do know a little bit. We know that uh, there was a cameraman filming Steve at the time that he was stung. Now, this cameraman was a very close friend of his. He didn't realise that Steve had been stung until he saw blood in the water. He managed to get Steve to the surface and uh, lifted him into a small inflatable boat, which they had in the shallow water. They then travelled a couple of minutes to where Steve's larger boat, Croc 1, was anchored in deeper water. On board the boat was a doctor who worked furiously on Steve for about 30 minutes as they headed to Low Isles, which was, uh, which is a, a, an island um, just off Port Douglas. Now, when they arrived there, there was a, a, a helicopter there, um, but the ambulance officers, the paramedics and the doctor on board said that there was nothing that they could do that Steve had already died. Back to you in the studio.